Hi, this is Kevin from Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to be working through questions 1 to 5 of the Intermediate Maths Challenge from 2021. But I actually don't think you should watch this video, because I've put all of these questions and more into a free online course called Get Ready for the Intermediate Maths Challenge. In that course, you can work through all of these problems, you can uh, check the answer, you can watch the video solution, but as well as the video solution, there's also a short video hint before each question that will really help you get into the problem and give you the best chance of solving it for yourself. So I'll put a link to that course in the description below. You can go over there and sign up now, totally free, and there are no ads or distractions like there are on YouTube either. So I do really think that's the best way to prepare for the Intermediate Maths Challenge, but of course if you'd rather watch the uh, solutions here on YouTube, you're also uh, very well welcome. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it really helps me get this content out there. Otherwise, we will uh, get on with the questions now. In question one, you could just do the subtraction and the addition here, although you might want to change the order to add 2021 to 2425 first and then subtract 2223 to avoid thinking about negative numbers. Um, but you can also just do this by thinking about the last digits of the numbers here. So if I add 2021 to 2425, it would end in a 1 plus 5, which is 6, and then if I subtract something that ends in a 3 from that, the last digit is going to be a 3, and the only one of the answers here that ends in a 3 is B, which is 2223. Two, two, so, given this is a maths challenge question where we've got a multiple choice answers, I can say for sure that B is going to be uh, the answer. Question 2, the day before the day before yesterday was two days after the day before my birthday. Today is Thursday. On what day was my birthday? A um, bit of a confusing, slightly tongue-twisting uh, question here. Um, I think here I would just start writing out a little calendar. So if today is Thursday, um, then we're going to be looking at the day before the day before yesterday. So that's going to be a Tuesday. Um, so sorry, the day before yesterday is going to be a Tuesday. So the day before the day before yesterday is going to be a Monday. Um, that's two days after. So it's two days after Saturday. Um, and that's the day before my birthday. So Saturday is the day before my birthday, and so my birthday must be on a Sunday, and the answer is A. In question three here, we've just got to remember to work the brackets from the inside ones out. Right, so the innermost ones here are minus two, minus two, and that would give me minus four. And then if I look at these brackets, now I've got minus two, minus, minus four, so that's minus two plus four, which is just two. And now I've got two minus and then this bracket is minus 2 minus 2, so that one is minus 4. So I've got 2 minus minus 4, that's 2 plus 4, and then minus 2. Uh, so I'm left with 6 minus 2, which is 4, and that is the final answer. There are a couple of ways you could do this question. Um, basically, the question just says we've got a diagram as shown with the angles marked as shown, and we want to find VWX, which is this one in the middle. Um, the key is because we've got squares, uh, we know that these are right angles um, here, 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 and here. Okay, there's more right angles, but these are the only ones we're going to need to use. Um, so you've got a couple of options. You could, uh, you know, add extra lines in here and, like, you know, again, make right angles here and here, and then you could use a quadrilateral to work out this one, and then use the circle to work out this one, and do the same on this side as well, and you could chase the angles around that way. I'm going to do it in perhaps an even more efficient way than that, which is actually to spot uh, a very helpful uh, polygon here, uh, which is this one, U, P, Q, Y, X, W, V, U. Okay, and now if we count how many sides that's got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. Okay, so we've got a heptagon. And we know that the sum of the interior angles of an n-sided shape is 180 times uh, n minus 2, something we used in the junior maths challenge even. Um, so here that's 180 times 5, which is 900. Okay, And now I actually know the other angles in here, because if this is 90 degrees, then that means this is 270, 360 minus 90, angles in a circle add up to 360, and this one is also 270. Okay, So if I add all these angles together, 270 plus 270 plus 62, plus 74, plus 90, plus 90, plus the one we're looking for, let's call it x, I should get 900. So I just need to add these together and subtract from 900. So I've got 540 here, plus another 180, gives me 720, uh, plus 74, 
is 794 uh, and then plus 62 gives me 856 so I've got 856 plus x is 900 so x is 900 minus 856 which is 44 and the answer is a April, May and June have 90 suites between them May has three quarters of the number of suites that June has April has two thirds of the number of suites that May has how many suites does June have okay so um, in the intermediate math challenge we should jump to algebra a bit more quickly than in the junior math challenge if you've done those a lot of the questions algebra just makes it a lot easier so let's let x be the number uh, of suites that June has uh, May has three quarters of the number that June has so that would be three quarters of x and April has two thirds of the number that May has so that would be two thirds of three quarters of x or two thirds times three quarters of x. Now two thirds times three quarters, we can cancel the threes and also cancel a two and see that that's just a half x. So we get the equation that when I add these together, the total number of suites, x plus three quarters x plus one half x, that must equal 90 suites in total. Now how you go about solving this equation, there's two possible routes. Um, my favorite one, and one if you can get really good at can save you time, is actually to multiply this equation through by 4 before you start, rather than trying to combine the x's immediately. If I multiply everything by 4, I get 4x, and then 3 quarters times 4 is 3, so that's 3x, and a half times 4 is 2x. So I get 4x plus 3x plus 2x equals 90, and I've suddenly, oh sorry, I need to times the 90 by 4 as well to get 360 and suddenly I've got a nice equation. So I've got 9x is equal to 360 and then dividing by 9 I get x equals 40 degrees. Of course I think a lot of people will do it this way where we add the fractions together instead so I've got 1 and 3 quarters and a half right x and if I add those together um, a half is 2 quarters so I've got 1 and 5 quarters or 2 and a quarter which I could write as uh, 9 over 4 so I could also write 9 over 4x equals 90 and now I've just got to do x is equal to uh, 90 divided by 9 over 4 dividing by a fraction we turn it upside down and multiply um, so 90 over 9 is 10 10 times 4 is 40 and I get the same answer as before but I do think this method really simplifies things and stops us having to worry too much about so I really hope that was useful. Don't forget, I think the best way to prepare for the Intermediate Maths Challenge is to click below and take my totally free online course, Get Ready for the Intermediate Maths Challenge, where you can work through all of these problems and more, not just with the solutions, but also with video hints to help you get started. So do check that out if you haven't already and share it with your friends. Please do like this video and subscribe to the channel as well. It really helps me get the content out there and I will see you soon.